I just filmed a nail tutorial so my camera's actually running out of battery so I have to do this introduction really really quick but this was a requested video um, someone wanted me to do a nail tutorial on how I just do my weekly manicure and because I typically post pictures of my nails on my Instagram so um, this time I just did basically the steps that I usually do um, whenever I do my nails but it actually was not the best manicure at all I think because I had the camera filming I knew it was filming um, typically I'm just relaxed doing it on my own and on my own time now knowing that the camera's filming filming me and I think mostly because I'm trying not to mess up is when I actually did so and now um, I didn't allow my nails and enough time to dry so I already messed them up and everything but because usually I'll just like sit watch TV let them dry but now I had to like reposition the camera to film this intro and yeah but I think you get the you know the idea of how um, I paint my nails and what steps I usually take and um, you know what product I usually use so I hope you enjoyed this video um, these are this is pretty much how it turned out um, yeah so if you want to know which nail polish it is it's um, SC Dramatic Drachmas um, so it's this color and this is how it turned out with two coats but you'll get to see that in a video um yeah so i think that's it thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoy this nail tutorial and i will talk to you very soon bye so whether i have nail polish on or not i always clean each nail with nail polish remover just to make sure all the residue is out and that my nails are really clean So to make things easier, I always trim my nails before I file them and when I trim them I already keep the shape I want to have in mind. So after you're done trimming, go ahead and file your nails into the shape you like. In my case, I liked them squared, but I round them slightly at the corner. So then I apply this warming cuticle cream and this has a scrub consistency so it's very gritty and when it's in contact with my skin it has kind of this warming feeling. What it does is it softens your cuticles making it easier to push them back. So as you see, I still have my warming cuticle cream on and I'm just pushing all my cuticles back. And I tend to not cut them because I don't see a reason for that and I feel like every time I cut my cuticles, I get this skin growth and my cuticles just end up looking worse. So then just wash and dry your hands really, really well. You want to make sure your hands and nails are as clean and dry as possible. So now that we're done with all the prepping, go ahead and apply your base coat and just use whatever brand you have. I just feel like applying a base coat really makes a difference in how your nail polish goes on your nails. So 
So now, onto the fun part. Go ahead into your nail polish collection and just pick your color. So then, I like starting with the hardest part first, which is applying nail polish to my right hand with my left hand. If you're a lefty, this would mean applying nail polish to your left hand with your right hand. Before you move on to apply the second coat, just leave it to air dry for a minute. So then I'm just going to be cleaning up the edges with these makeup q-tip applicators which are a lot thinner and more precise to clean up the nail polish around your nail. Now go ahead and apply a top coat. I really feel like this step is very important because your nail polish will last a lot longer and in my opinion, your nail polish also looks a lot shinier. So then after your top coat, just let your nails air dry for about a minute and then just add them into cold water or freezing water and this really cuts your drying time into half. So lastly, just dry your hands very gently and make sure you don't touch anything before they're completely dry. So this is it. I really hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it.